The market size of supplements globally was valued at around 335 billion in 2021, and that's set to double by 2030. Around 58% of US adults use supplements, and around 38% of UK adults use supplements. As you probably know, that's why you clicked on this video, there are so many supplements out there multivitamins, gut supplements, performance supplements, like CBD supplements, even like brain supplements. Should you be taking supplements at all or are you just wasting your money? I'm going to answer the question that a lot of people tiptoe around. Are supplements worth it and are they even necessary? A recent study looked at vitamin, mineral and multivitamin supplementation to prevent cardiovascular disease and cancer. They looked at 84 different studies. This was hundreds of thousands of people. This particular paper looked at this particular paper looked at multivitamins, vitamin D, which they couldn't come to a conclusion on, then calcium, folic acid and vitamin B12, vitamin B3 and B6 and vitamin C and lastly selenium. So what did they conclude? There's little to no benefit in taking vitamin or mineral supplements to prevent cardiovascular disease, cancer, or just death. TED Talk over, or is it? The reality is you don't need supplements if you're getting everything through your diet, but if you're not getting everything through your diet and you have digestive issues, and let's say you get a blood test and you flag that you're missing certain vitamins and minerals, then that's a use case to take supplements to fill in the gaps. Or if you just wanted an insurance policy and to take a well-formulated multivitamin because you know you don't get enough fruit and vegetables, that's also completely fine. What I'm gonna say is, if you eat a well-structured diet, you're gonna get everything you need through your diet. If you eat stuff like chicken, meat, fish, eggs, dairy, vegetables, fruit, and some whole grains. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you will likely need to supplement. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying it doesn't cover all your nutritional needs. There is a supplement hierarchy in terms of what you'd actually get like the most benefits from. If you can't get enough protein for your diet, then supplementing with protein powder is gonna be a good shout and it's gonna be probably the best supplement for you at that moment of time. That's if you can't get enough protein. Let's say you can get enough protein, you, you're supplemented with protein powder. The next best thing, creatine. It has over a thousand studies confirming its effectiveness and it's very, very cheap. You wanna look for creatine monohydrate and preferably a crea pure source. This guarantees purity and avoids like any other garbage in it. And with creatine, it can help mental performance and physical performance, can improve your brain health, help you build a bit more muscle in the long term. I did a more in depth video on creatine a while back. I will drop that in the description below so you can give that a watch. But creatine is something I definitely recommend, especially when most, well, when people have as many of their box ticked as they can, like sleep, like nutrition, protein, then we'll add in some creatine. Obviously there are more supplements that can be helpful to you, but let's say you're taking protein, you're taking creatine, everything else is going well, you wanna add in a third supplement that's gonna help improve your overall health. That is gonna be omega-3. That can improve your brain health, it can improve your joint health, and also help recover between workouts and like reduce overall inflammation and help with the heart health too. So omega-3 fatty acids, you need to make sure you're getting a good one. I did a longer video going into detail on what omega-3 you should choose and also why you should choose omega-3s as your like, as an additional supplement. And you can watch that in the comment section below in the description of this video. Yes, if you're eating cans of sardines a day, you're probably covered in terms of omega-3, but there is a slight concern of heavy metal toxicity that you need to be aware of. So you might wanna switch over to omega-3, and maybe have canned sardines like every other day or a few times a week. That's all I really wanted to cover. I'm currently in Texas and I'm shooting this with my phone. So if the audio is a bit off, that's exactly why. But I just wanted to cover this because I saw a video pop up and it was like, all supplements are bad. And I've seen people like suggest like a million different supplements. You have to do this, 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 this. Uh, those are the three I'd recommend. And I'd say that if you're taking stuff like single ingredient supplements and you're getting in enough fruit and vegetables, like 
you're having like overall like balanced nutrition approach, you're probably wasting your money and wasting your time and making it more inconvenient for yourself. Any questions at all, comment below. Any deeper questions, feel free to send me a message on Instagram at Adam Scott Fit. Have the best day ever and we'll talk soon.